you uh, again. I will try and summarise a few questions into one subject area, uh, and this is golf courses. So primarily that why is it included within the budget options when we have in the past had consultations and decided to keep it in house? Um, we've had many meetings to support affordable golf, um, especially Brackenwood. So is there a rationale behind this? And again, are you looking at options behind the scenes that could look to different outcomes? Yeah, I mean, as I said earlier about your Rupert pools, the golf courses again fall into that non-statutory services. So, you know, what the government is saying to us is you don't have to have golf courses and you don't have to subsidise them as a council. And so we expect you to look at them. Um, now, the bizarre thing about that is, is it's, it's mainly the non-statutory services that our residents hold most dear to them. Um, and that's how it is. And unfortunately, it's a it's the non-statutory services that, we're, that always bear the brunt and the government expect us to look at very closely. Um, there's several strands of thought around the golf courses that they've gone out to consult on in the same way that all of the options have gone out and that's because we've had to do this and um, we've had to show the government that we are considering a lot of the options available to us. Um, the, there are, I've had people contact me this week in equal measures, some are very keen for us to keep council golf courses. Others have said, why is it the council's job to run a golf course? It's not up to the council to do that. So there's a real wide ranging opinion on our golf courses. Um, but what I can say is that as far as I'm concerned, this is not about taking away golf courses from people that use them. It, it's about seeing whether or not there are different models that we can use um, with all of our leisure services, actually. Um, the council have got to a place, like most councils now up and down the country, where they just cannot carry carry on putting money into their leisure service in, services in the way that they have done traditionally. But that doesn't mean that we, that doesn't mean that we want them to go. It's just about trying to think outside the box how can we keep them in house, but maybe not fall on the council as much to subsidise them all? Let's start to think about how we can be more creative with our leisure services. That means that our workforce don't suffer, the quality of service doesn't diminish, and that our residents still benefit from them. So these are all things that we're looking at, but um, the wholesale closure of golf courses is an extreme option, is an extreme option, is an extreme option. And as I said again, no decisions have been taken and we are completely in listening mode at the minute.